Okay, we are at location number three. We're in the middle of a cornfield in Minnesota. So it should be interesting what we find here. Um, we've been to Brooklyn Park, uh, St. Paul, this is Chaska. The St. Paul one was kind of poop. Brooklyn Park was pretty good. So we shall see what the Chaska, Minnesota location has. And for those of you new at Goodwill Bins, you pay by the pound. So we just have to dig through a bunch of junk to find the good stuff. But let's go in and see what we can find. And I have my glove. So let's go. One cart left, and it is popping here. Do you want me to take the cart or do you want it? I'm gonna take it out this. There's a little junk and it smells very strongly of mothballs. <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna jump right in. Let me put my glove on. Looks like they have three rows of bins. Sorry, I was putting my glove on. And then they have like one row of breakable, or not breakable, it's books. Oh, these are good. If I can find the other one. Oh. Nope, that's not good. Let me look in this corner. I... Okay. It seemed like no one had their cart um, by the bins. It was like all in the middle. And I don't want to be like going against the flow, you know? Bandolino. Carlos Santana, those are decent. Lucky Wedge. Kenzie. Hey, look at that. Newport, Oregon. It's like 45 minutes from my house. An hour. Mm, I need to keep looking for this one. Bear traps. Lexter made in Germany. Hmm, those might be good. We need to find the other one though. If 
toes are falling apart. Those are fun. I think they're just a no name. These are North Lake. Oh, here's the other one. Let's get those. We also got someone's trash we need to dispose of. Oh, here's some Tory Birch flats. Get those. There is someone just eating a bag of chips staring at me, which is amazing. Stuart Weitzman. Uh, I don't think I want those ones. Wild Diva. Oh, it looks like they are. Oh, they're taking this next row. Oh my god. This whole row is like shoes. This is gross. Claiborne, Enzo Angiolini, or however you say it. Um, I might look for the other one of those. KDB. Might get that. Is Express that is cheap.
a random Disney accessory in the aisle. Okay. Oh, here's the other boot. They're from Kohl's. Yeah, Simply Vera. Simply Vera. Boutique Nordstrom. Hmm, those might be worth it. Let's see if I can find another one. I might have to make a go. Oh, there's that one. Oasis Society. Hmm. These are not rated. It has some staining. Um, yes, please. Chops. Mm, apartment nine, I think it says. I think it's Kohl's. Oh, here's an LL Bean. Ugh, it's really hairy though. Ellen and Paul? I have never heard of that. You want mommy? Where's mommy? Oh, I see you right
Jessica Simpson, but it is wrecked. Tyler Roden, poop. Jolie. Okay, I have a few shoes I have to find. Oh, this one. That's okay. <laughs> have a few shoes to find. Okay, so I'm just going to take a peek and see if I can find them. And I will let you know. Nine West? That's actually a cute bag. of that one so yeah i think they put their carts here in the middle and then you just are supposed to put stuff in your cart instead of just like taking it with you i don't know there's rules at all these that are different my little pony stuff on the floor. What the are you, baby? You feel like a real baby. Heidi... Ott? Heidi Ott? Look that up. Does this baby seat go with her? I I don't know. Got a Mickey. He's actually pretty clean.
rose bouquet. Oh, we have another Mickey. Oh, I think this one's good actually. Maybe. He's kind of dirty though. Because he's the 50th Mickey, I think. Shove him in the armpit. That is another language. Magic cake strips for perfect level moist prize winning cakes. assembly plant. Panache. I'll look that up. Feels like good leather. Simply Vera. What are you? It is... Couchy? Yeah, I'll look it up. Red... Mark Echo. Tool, the zipper is wrecked. It's like the Aztec calendar. That is cool, but I'm gonna leave it since the zipper is broken.
bunch of these fake blocks. to the Boyd's Bears, but it's like, is it a bear? Oh yeah, it is a bear. Thought it might be a cat. Oh my goodness, it all fell out. Okay, I'm gonna look a few of these things up. Oh, that's a little alien. Um, yes, I'm gonna look a few things up and then I will move on to the next bin. Stay tuned. They like really, really, really pack the bins full. Tin. I don't really have room, unfortunately, but I like a good tin. in rough condition. Happy Memories Toddler con Collection. Franklin. Yes, it is. It has a little something there, but those do well. playing cards. Wow, this scale. 
Mario is old. Twelve. A Scooby Doo. Bunch of sealed, probably baby shower. You could do. Use them out, please. Lots of little wooden snowmen. Snowmen. Oh, I should try to look at this. to a golf club. Big Bertha. Hmm. I might want the little cover, not the golf club, though. What are you? Spicy fox bear. Probably go through some clothing. American Eagle. There's just like so much in each bin, it's overwhelming. They really pack it in here. Some unfinished pillows. Wow, they put a lot of work into that. I'm gonna go drop some stuff off and then I will do my clothing. Stay tuned. A tonic Fred Perry. Let's see about those. These have been picked through pretty good at this point. It was an insanity of craziness. People going through these. What's this? Taneo? Made in China. Wow, 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 wow. 
Tommy Hill figure. But the handles, holy moly. This is broken just because it's an access model. Rosetti. Vintage Kodak. Sad condition. Kenneth Cole. Okay, I'm gonna look up my Etonic Fred Perry shoes and then clothing time. Okay, I went through some clothing and I just put a new row of bins out, so I'm gonna go through those. vintage caboodle. Let's see. Twenty seventeen. Womp womp. Oh, they're little puzzles. Okay, go ahead and see. Oh my god. 
cute. He's terrifying and cute. sets of erasers. It's just like a whole lot of everything. It's interesting. Are these used or are they new? They look new. Let's grab those. A precious moments Bible. The outside cover is a little poo. I don't have any more hands. Oh, here's some more. Oh, I'm dropping my stationery. Okay, drop the stationery. I'll grab the Bible. We can do it. We can do it. Oh, so we're here. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh is this mine? Am I dropping it? few things up, empty my armpits, and I will be back. Okay, here is stash at location number two for the day, three for Minneapolis, Minnesota. We are at the Chaska bins. Um, a lot more decent stuff than the last one. That St. Paul bins was a poo-poo dee-doo. It was not bueno. 
Um, but let me go through everything that we found here. We might stay a little longer, um, but we do want to get to the bins we went to yesterday, the Brooklyn Park bins, um, and they stop rotating at four. So we kind of want to go over there and see what we can find. But let me show you what we found this go. Um, I have a bunch of vintage card ephemera, all kinds of different. I love this stuff. The prints on them are just like, like, look at this. I love this. Made in USA. Um, and I'm pretty sure they haven't been rode in either. So got a little bit of those. Um, so all this is a combination of me and my sister picking. I'm being very picky and what I'm actually bringing back. Um, but I am picking just like normal and I'm giving her the stuff that I don't exactly want to bring back. So, um, a majority of it is just going to be hers and I'm going to be taking a small portion of it back with me, but she's going to just have a huge stockpile to work through. So most of the stuff will be on my sister's, um, eBay, but you can also email me if you're interested. I do sell directly through the videos. And my email is hellohandbagsyt at gmail.com. Okay, main cart. A pair of silvers. These are a bit smaller. 25, size 25. Goodwill wanted $14.99 for these. I feel silvers out here are more popular. I don't know why. I just think they are. <clears throat> Um, a Michael Kors size 14 skirt. Goodwill wanted $12.99. It's like a little, oh, what's this? Houndstooth pencil skirt with a faux belt. It's in pretty good shape and it's a good size too. Next is JMD New York. It still has its tags on it with some extra beads. It is 100% silk size large. Goodwill wanted $10.99. But these are always fun. I love these. It's like a little blazer. Okay, next, Belladini, Los Angeles. Goodwill wanted $8.99. It's a really bright fuchsia pink with these drawstring sides. This is really cute, actually. I kind of like this. $8.99 is what Goodwill wanted it or was priced at. Next, a pair of Vigos. Goodwill wanted $8.99. This is a plus size size I believe 22 and it is a Capri. Vigos is sold at Maurice's and it's a pretty popular brand. They have like pretty elaborate back pockets. Um, next is a coach. Someone threw this back. It's in, you know, beat up condition. It just needs a wipe down and conditioning and it needs a strap. And then the inside is kind of, you can kind of see some staining. But to get a coach for like a dollar fifty, two dollars, it's kind of hard to pass up, you know. So we got that. Next is a Walt Disney picture frame, originally eighteen ninety nine. Needs a little wipe there, but it has little Mickey's around it. Next is a Franklin Cove Cove. Uh, this is vintage. Um, I picked up about four or five of these at a recent Goodwill, just Goodwill retail um, pickup, and I sold almost all of them for around 28 to 40 a piece. So it has a little something there, but I'll see if I can wipe that off. Next, a vintage patchwork leather sling backpack. I'm not exactly, there's a lot of like scraps going on here. I don't know what is happening. But these patchworks, the ones that are more popular are the colored patchworks, but the black is also desirable. Next, we have another pair of jeans. These are Maurice's. It looks like a plus size. Um, size 26. Goodwill wanted $8.99 for it at their retail store. These are nice jeans, actually. Next, another pair of jeans, Abercrombie and Fitch. These are size 28. Goodwill is selling it for $8.99. They're like a jugging. We 
got a lot of jeans, it looks like. Okay, next is a pair of Levi's size 10 classic boot. Um, Goodwill wanted $12.99. Those are also a nice pair of Levi's. They look like brand new almost. Key. Next, a pair of BKE. Again, this is sold at the buckle. 28 by 31 and a half. Goodwill wanted $10.99. A dark wash. These are also really good condition. I like the back pockets. Okay, next is a Build-A-Bear reindeer with like fun colored antlers and his little hoofs. Um, I'm gonna see if my sister wants this. I'm not bringing it back with me, but looks like it sells for about $20, but he has a little metallic thread that goes through him. Next is a vintage Mickey Minnie pillowcase. They are in a hot air balloon of sorts, but that's fun. Next, a pair of mucklucks. I remember that. They're size 39. Um, I'm going to see if my sister wants these as well. I'm not taking those back, but the other one's around here somewhere. Ooh, but they're in really good shape. They were wore pretty minimally, but they're a nice booty. And fall is coming. It's coming whether we like it or not, even though today I'm sweating my face off. Okay, next is a Steve Madden, just like huge carry-all tote and a faux um, kind of pebbly, not really pebbly, crackle, I don't know, leather, but it's faux, it's not real. Um, the handles need to be trimmed up a little bit. Stay. I'm telling you to stay. Okay. Next, a Michael Kors wallet. Inside's in pretty good shape. The outside needs a good wipe down, but it should clean up pretty nice. But we'll see. We shall see. Next, a Jessica Simpson bag. She sells pretty well, to be honest. And that's a nice bag. It's faux. Faux leather. Um, next, a pair of coach. These are pretty rough. They're in pretty rough shape, but she can probably still get maybe 10, 15 bucks out of them. They, um, need to be reshaped, so you can take a rubber band and put it around the shoe, kind of like this, and it'll kind of reshape the shoe, because either someone with wide feet used them, or they just consistently smushed the sides down, so. But yeah, it's that classic coach pattern. Okay, next a pair of Tory Burches. Mm, I found another pair as well. Um, but it was, the bottoms were worn so bad. The bottoms had like holes literally in them. So I decided to leave, leave that. Next, a T. Janello, maybe. A little wristlet pink. We have a bean pole little wallet, like a mini wallet. I've never found bean pole before. Next is a vintage LL Bean um, fabric messenger bag. It's a little, a little tiny bit sturdy, but not too bad. Not like a tower going over here. We're just. We're winging it. Okay, next is a pair of real clothes, Saks Fifth Avenue, 100% silk, size small, little flowy pants. I really like these. And they're super light. Next, another Michael Kors bag, and it has its little fobby still attached. Needs a little wipey wipe and a little cleaning. There's some spots in it that are a little funky dunk, but we're gonna get that. Oh, I picked this up and I'm not sure what it is, but it is Beijo. 
London, Paris, New York. It's like a patenty purple. Um, but I have to look that up. I just threw it in here. I threw it in and didn't know. So we'll see what that exactly is about. Next is a longer burger tote. Obviously a longer burger baskets do well, but I'm not sure if these little tote thingies do. So I'm gonna look that up too as well and see if it's worth the pickup. Next is a fossil yellow bag. Um, I think it has its little fobby. Yeah, it has its little fob attached to it still. There's a few spots on it that are a little sad panda, but we'll see what we can do. It's a nice yellow. Next is like a feel real baby by Heidi O T T Oct, I assume. And these relatively do well, maybe around 50 or so dollars, but she feels like a real baby. Next is a faux coach. It does not look faux to me, which is super surprising. Um, because they, this is just really good and they branded all of their uh, rivets, but there is no um, serial number. So here is the Creed. There should be a serial number down here and there is not. So this is a really strangely decent fake. And if they did make some without serial numbers, I would be surprised. I'm not saying it's not possible, but yeah, because even this is branded coach. So maybe this one didn't have the, I don't know, it just really looks like coach to me, but we'll see. We'll see if we're getting that. Next, I'm not sure what this is. It's like a little metal trinkety dish with a little frog. I'm not sure what you do with it. Do you put incense in there? There's the brand. It's just really cute. Okay, so we got that. Next, another pair of Silver's Suki size 30. That's a good size. And there's the back. Um, we got a Notorious B.I.G. t-shirt. I'm not sure if it's vintage. It looks vintage. It's single stitch. So that's probably decent. Another yellow Steve Madden. Oh, over. Steve Madden bag. This is really nice. Nice little top handle bag. It's pretty. Um, this is Tijanello, or however you want to say it. Nice bronze colored bag. Um, this one I don't know. It is Urban Junket, but it looked interesting. It's a very like compact, compact white clean bag. Next, a pair of boutique Nordstrom sandals. Nice size. They're probably like a ten or eleven. Studded. Um, I found this tie made in Italy. Box Elder Milwaukee. Frank Lloyd Wright, Liberty Magazine, I'm not sure. I don't pick up a lot of ties, but I may get this one. We shall see. Okay, next a pair of, I'm just calling it EA, Enzo and Jolini. Leather boots, a pair of Lexter made in Germany. Heavy duty boots, good shape. Really good shape. Uh, oh, I found another pair of Tory Burch flats. These are gray. And I believe that is actually it. 
I went through it all. Um, I need to go through and pick some stuff out to put back, but we definitely found a decent amount uh, at this one. I think the one we were just at, the ones that were like poop, um, they pull a lot of stuff from their donations and put it on their online Goodwill. So that one, they definitely go through a lot of the donations and pull it to post. So that is definitely picked through before it gets to the bins. So, but I'm surprised at all of the locations we've been at. There's been minimal to no breakables, like absolutely none. It's been mostly shoes, clothing, handbags, plushies, toys, but like no breakables. So it's very interesting. I'm kind of surprised that that's the case, but each place is different, I guess. All right, I think we're gonna be going to another one today because why not? I like to torture myself, let's do it. But I'll be doing that, but I will be posting my sister's eBay book below if you would like to check out anything she has she does a lot of handbags um so if you want to check her out i will link her store down below everything that i'm taking home will be posted on ebay poshmark and mercari and until the next time digging if you could give this video a thumbs up and help the channel out i would so appreciate it all right i will see you on the next one bye